WFNN. Headline News Update. And welcome to the 2 p.m. update on TFNN with me, David White. Uh, as we start uh, the 2 o'clock hour, we've got about 7.3 billion shares on the CBOE consolidated tape. If you don't follow that one and would like to, just email me at path at tfnn.com, and I'll be glad to send you a link to it. But it's what I look at. So volume up about 500 million shares, I suspect. Uh, there are a couple of things going on. One, probably the first thing, uh, maybe the end of the short squeeze for those folks that were um, uh, deciding to go down with the ship on the short side. Uh, I had many uh, folks that, uh, not subscribers, they just like to email me and tell me how the end of the world is going to be tomorrow. And much like uh, many of the people saying the end of the actual end of the world uh, is going to be tomorrow, uh, they put it off another week. Uh, unfortunately, uh, markets can be uh, irrational longer than you can remain solvent. And uh, the markets, uh, at least the S&P, uh, up uh, 25 points today, which is about a little over six-tenths of a percent. So we've got some decent volume. Is it enough? Probably not. Probably 11, maybe 12 billion shares. We probably need something like 15 or 16 to break through the 4,000 level. It's not uncommon to see contrary moves in a bear market that exceed that as short sellers, uh, generally the market continues to go higher until short sellers give up. Uh, we did have some news uh, and we had a small pullback uh, about an hour ago, but uh, uh, pretty much, n if anything, a little bullish in the market, uh, suggesting more uh, gridlock in Washington, D.C. So it's, uh, I don't know if they were kind of front running that. Uh, maybe there's some other stuff going on, but you've got at least enough volume to go a little bit further, but uh, not enough uh, to probably go blow out and make new highs. We'll be back in a minute. We've got Tim Ord on at 215. 